breaking up the family has been an agenda for a very, very long time. Let's say definitely since the Garden of Eden, right? Uh, breaking up that relationship between man and woman has been a big goal. So we don't even have to go to the people whose names begin with R in order to see it. But those particular people have made a big impact on how the family gets to gets along and gets and and doesn't stay together uh, very well anymore and here is one of those issues now in that video and in its entirety she goes into how uh, autoimmune they haven't understood how autoimmune disease affects more women than it does men Basically because they weren't testing the tissue of a woman, like ever <laughs> in, in this research, they, they weren't testing female tissue at all until I guess this particular study that she's talking about. And it's like, uh, doesn't it figure, doesn't it figure? So the thing is we've had this huge thing going on, right? Um, to, to break up the family. And there's been kind of a joke around our area of, oh yeah, my wife's even tempered. She's angry all the time. And I, it's funny on one end, but it's not on another because so many women just don't feel good. Okay. I I can talk to you, I, I don't know that I can go to like the grocery store or Walmart and talk to the women as I'm, you know, going by, hi, how you doing? You know, everybody's going to say, oh yeah, fine. But if you actually stop and talk to them, they're going to tell you how they're tired, they're exhausted, they're not feeling good, they're having these medical problems, there's all of these issues. Their family is driving their nuts, their husband's driving them nuts, if they have a husband anymore. And patriarchy, let me tell you something. I don't know anybody who really understands what a true patriarchy is. We have been taught that patriarchy is women who are made to cover themselves and only let their nose and their eyes maybe show and get, uh, you know, tortured and beaten and things like that, that that is patriarchy and it's bad. No, that's not patriarchy. That's abuse. That's awful. And those people are terrorists. So why would it surprise you that they terrorize their women as well as everybody else? Okay. That's not a true and proper patriarchy. And you have probably never lived in one. Okay. A majority of people today, mom or grandma runs the show. If you stop and you think about it, and you think about your family, mom or grandma runs the show. Dad may think he does, and she may let him think he does, but whenever it comes down to it, whatever she wants, she gets. So just think about it for a little bit and think about all of the situations where you know mom or grandma running things. And a lot of times marriages struggle because of mother-in-law <laughs> on one side or another. So no, we don't live in a patriarchy. We live in a matriarchy. Uh, not maybe as prominently as some other cultures here in the U.S., but it, it's still, it's, it's, it's very prominent. And if you, if you really think about it, who are the ones who go to church? Uh, it's predominantly women. Who are the ones that go to the meetings? The, the Delphine, well, the Delphine club's all women anyway, but the, the Rotary club, the this club, the that club, it's mostly women. Usually it is mostly women that go to the meetings and do the things. E even Chamber of Commerce, it's going to be <sighs> predominantly women, usually. Or, or it's a woman that told the man to go. <laughs> 
<laughs> Every once in a while, there are, you know, there are certain men that, that are, you know, involved, but usually it's, it's the women. And, and there is a reason for this. There, yeah, because if we can keep women out of balance physically, emotionally, if we can keep them busy with something other than their family and keep them in activities and meetings and church stuff and all these, all these things that they have to do, you know, they're either working for the Lord or they're working for the money or, or whatever it is they're doing. And I'm not saying that all of those things are bad. I'm saying that we've been encouraged to have our priorities in a different place other than husband and family. Husband, children. That's what God says. God says, God first, husband second, children, home, and then everybody else. And it, it's in this society in this world today is really hard to keep those things in order. And, and, you know, and if somebody's sick, then they're going to be moved up in that list, right? Things, things are fluid. It's not like husband comes in and demands a meal, uh, while child is sick and needing to be held. It's like, no, you should be able to call husband and say, Hey, child is sick, needing a lot of attention today. I may not be able to fix a meal. Do you want to stop and pick up something easy to throw together? Or, you know, if we've got our act together and we haven't been feeling awful because of autoimmune or hormones are off or whatever is going on, all of the toxicities that we're bombarded with, then maybe we've got some freezer meals in and can just like, okay, I'm going to run, pull this freezer meal out of the freezer so it can thaw and, you know, and then I will hold you and take care of you. <sighs> but it doesn't always work that way, right? As much as we try to be organized and have things under control, it's hard to do. And part of the reason is not, it's not always us and we blame it on ourselves and we get this guilt trip, and then we get on this feminist thing that it's everybody else's fault. So we're blaming ourselves, we're blaming everybody else, and we're not realizing that, you know, medicine isn't treating us right, because they're not even doing the research on us, and, you know, all of these things, and and even if it's not a particular person that has done this on pur person, purpose, the principalities and powers know exactly what they're doing and they know exactly how they're guiding and directing, you know, the stuff. So anyway, I will just, you know, it's not all your fault. Take time to rest. Make sure your priorities are in the proper order and that you're taking a whole day to rest each week and that you're enjoying the moments of today. Don't let the world stretch stress you out. Don't let it. Take your vitamins, take your supplements, take your, you know, eat eat the right foods and don't get so stressed and so hurried that you can't take care of yourself properly because nobody else is going to do it for you. <laughs>